Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Gans Schoen Clever. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Probably not. I don't speak German. From my understanding, this translates roughly to, that's pretty clever. Something along those lines. This is a roll and write game. It was first published in Europe, and from my understanding, it got really, really popular here in the States. I ordered my boxed copy. It's on the way. However, I really wanted to try it, so I looked online to see if there was like a web-based browser game that I could play to hold myself over in the meantime. I found one. It's in German, but I found one. So I'm on game three right now, and I gotta say, this is fantastic. I can't wait for my box copy to arrive. You can play this game solo or with other people. As I mentioned, it's a rule and write game. Think Yahtzee, but a gazillion times more deep than Yahtzee. You've got six colored dice. You've got yellow, orange, purple, blue, green, and then a white die. The white die is wild. And you're rolling these dice and you're marking off spots on your grid. Each grid behaves differently on how the dice placement works. And the scoring also behaves differently. If you look in the upper left-hand corner, for example, there's the yellow grid. By placing yellow dice here, uh, let's say you put a yellow one, or if you roll a yellow one and you want to mark off the yellow one, you can do that. And if you happen to get four in a row or four in a column, you get some type of benefit. The blue X, for example, means you get to cross off something in the blue area. Or the green X means that you get to cross something off in the green area. The points, 10, 14, 16, 20, you just get those points. The plus one, those are special abilities that uh, I'll get to in a little bit. The blue one, how that scores. Uh, basically, you take the sum of the blue die and the white die. Whatever that sum is, that's the number that you mark off here. And again, by completing rows and columns, you get stuff. But you also get points along the top. The more boxes you check off, the more points you get. So, for example, if I check off five boxes, I get 11 points. The green row down here, toward the middle, as long as you roll on the... On, it, you go from left to right, and so the first one says less or greater than or equal to one. So this means I can put any die here. When I mark that off, I move on to the next one. My green die has to be greater than or equal to two, and then next box, greater than or equal to three, and then so on and so on and so on. As I mark these off, some of them will give me special things. And I also get points for crossing these off. The orange one also moves from left to right. You just put any value you want. doesn't have to go in any order. You just put a value here, that's it. And again, by putting dice on various spaces as you get to them, you'll get special abilities or special effects. Purple row. The die previous has to be less than the die that you're about to place. So if you've got a 1 in the first box, the next purple die has to be 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. If you had a 5 there, you can only put a 6 on the next stop. Um, once you put a 6 down, it resets, and you can put any number after that. So if I had a 6 here, I could put a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, you know, whatever I want. And again, as I go from left to right, I'll get to these spaces that have special things on them, and I can activate them. There are between four and six rounds, depending on how many people are playing the game, upper right-hand corner. Um, in a one- or two-player game, there's six rounds. In a three-player game, there's five. Anything more than that, there's four rounds. Every round, you get some kind of special ability, at least for the first four rounds. For the first round, you get a free reroll. Second round, you get a plus one. I'll explain those in a minute. Third round, another reroll. Uh, fourth round, you get to X something off or put a six somewhere. And rounds five and six, there's nothing special there. Um, down below, you've got a tray, like a silver tray, and you've got three empty spaces to the side. At most, you can activate three dice on your turn. As the active player. In a normal game, like say two or more people, you take turns being the active player. And the active player takes all of their dice and rolls them, choose, chooses one die, that's it, just chooses one die, activates it. Anything with a lower value than that goes into the silver tray and cannot be used for the rest of that round by the active player. 
there are some exceptions. But you mark something, the active player marks something off, takes the dice that are equal to or greater than the dice that they chose, and rolls them again, and then chooses one of those dice. And you can do that up to three times. The dice that are left over are for the active or for the passive players. They choose one of those three dice that are in the dice tray and mark something off in their own personal grid or, or scoreboard. I know it's it's hard to visualize this when someone is explaining it to you, but I'll play a game and hopefully it will make more sense. The plus one means you can choose any of the dice that are in in play and use it again. But you can't do a plus one and a plus one on the same die on the same turn. You can do a plus one on a green die, then a plus one on a blue die, assuming you've got two plus ones. But, you know, that you can't do a plus one on a green and a plus one on a green again. The re-roll, just re-roll your dice. Pretty simple. Um, The white die, you'll notice there's no white scoreboard. The white die is a wild. It not only adds to the blue die for the blue grid, but you can use the white die anywhere. It can, you can use it as a green, orange, purple, so on. So that, in a nutshell, is Gan Shown Clever. Let's go ahead and play a game. This is going to be my third game now. My first game, I got like 150 points. And my second game, I got 215. 300, from my understanding, is the score to beat. So I don't think we're going to get to 300, but we'll try. So, let's go ahead and roll. So now, as the active player, I'm playing solo. As the active player, I choose a die, activate a space. If I choose the blue three, for example, then I have to discard the purple and the green into the silver tray. Uh, If I choose the yellow five, I activate five, the yellow five spot, and end my turn. Because there's all of the dice here would be discarded. So I have to start low and work my way up if I want to use all of them or most of them. So uh, we'll start with the one. And I, I, any die needs to go here. One is equal to or greater than one. Okay, so I cross that off. So then you take all the dice and re-roll them. I've got a purple two. I can put that here. Uh, blue two. Again, the blue two adds to the white die. So really, I've got a blue seven. Because the white die is 5. So 2 plus 5 is 7. I can mark off the 7. 7 is the most common number. So I may not want to mark that off right now. Um, I may want to start on the purple row. Um, oh, I forgot to mention. Orange and purple score based on the die values you write down. Instead of putting an X on the orange or the purple rows, you write in the value of the die that you're using. So you just add up all those values in the orange row and the purple row, and that's what you score for that color. The foxes, I forgot to mention, they're a score multiplier. So if you have two foxes, you would multiply your lowest scoring color by that number of foxes. So if green was my lowest scoring at 10 points, I would take 2 times 10 is 20. That's how I would score the foxes. But anyway... Again, there's a lot going on here. I know I'm saying a lot, but let's go with the purple. Yeah. And now my last die for this round. I can put the one down and orange. Not going to do that. I want to choose a high die this time. Again, the white die can be used as anything. The blue five becomes a 10 because the white die is also a five. That might be something to think about. Hmm. I can, instead of using the orange one as a one, I can use the white five as an orange and put a five here. I could do that. Um, You know what? Tens don't rule very often. I'm going to go ahead and take that. I'm going to take the... Yeah, I'll just mark that off. That's fine. And now I'd have the opportunity to use a plus one if I had it. I don't. Now, in the solo game, this is, where, this is where players passively playing would be able to look at the dice tray, the orange one, the blue five, and the yellow five. They would choose one and mark off something on their score sheet. Not in the solo game. In the solo game, you re-roll all the dice, you choose the three lowest values, 
and those are the ones that you get to choose between. So if I hit next here, which is going to, I'm going to do, the dice were just re-rolled for me, and now one, two, and four were the lowest values. So now I'm going to choose one of those to play. Uh, I can't play the purple two because it is not greater than two. Can't play the one because, uh, the green one, because it is not greater than or equal to two. So the yellow four is where I'm going to do it. I'm going to mark one of these off. I don't think it matters which. And next. Woohoo! Who do you two? All right, so we're on round two. We're going to go ahead and roll. Okay, so I can mark off the uh, blue eight because three plus five is eight. If I take any of the fours, then the threes go away. So I, I like to start with the lower numbers and work my way up. But that's just me. I, I don't know the right strategies for this game, assuming there are any. I think we'll take the blue eight. Oh my, those are low numbers. Can't do the purple because two is greater than one, not less than. Can't do the green. So we're going to have to use, say, the yellow two. Or the, let's do the yellow two. We'll mark that off here. The purple and the green die have to go into the center tray because of them being lower than the two. And I've got to choose either this. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to take the white two and use it as a green, I think. And further myself along this track. And I can plus one something. I, 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 Plus one means I use another die again. But based on their values, I don't think I want to. I'd rather plus one a six or something. All right, so I rolled the dice again. The three lowest values are two, three, and four. What am I going to use? I can put an orange three in the orange row. I can put, I can cross off a yellow two in the yellow area. This four, I could probably put almost anywhere. Oh, boy. Note that I can't mark off a blue, though, because the white four and the blue four add up to eight. So I blue I can't touch. But... Okay, let's further... Let's further green. And next. So we're on round three. So, <laughs> I could use the white one as the blue and make cross off the five. I could do that. I think I might. Or I can mark off one of the yellows. If I mark off this one over here and then the four, I'll be able to get a, a free green cross off. Or if I take this one here, hmm, tough decisions. This this game is a game of decisions. Like if you think you had to make a lot of decisions in Yahtzee, uh, <laughs> this is this is Yahtzee on steroids. This this is like a special kind of steroid too. Not not just not your basic steroid. All right, enough about the steroids. Five here, if I can get the six and seven, I get a free yellow cross off. Let's do that, actually. All right. Ah, sixes. I'd be able to, if I took one of the sixes, I could re-roll one of the other two. Or t two of the others. The purple and orange die would have to go away, though. Which I may do anyway, because I don't like the numbers. All right, I may take the yellow one. And put that here. And now those two re-roll. Oh, nice. Okay. So I'm thinking the green six, as long as it's greater than four, it doesn't matter. I could get a plus one out of that. And then I could plus one something else at the end of this round. I could do that. Um, actually, yeah, let's do that. We'll take this. I get a plus one. Now, before I roll the dice to pick something passively as the passive player, I could plus one maybe one of these sixes. 
I might want to do that with this green one here. And, and that way, because the next slot here is greater than, equal to or greater than 5. And then it resets back to 1 again. So I might want to just clear that hurdle now. Or do I want to cross off the other six and yellow? Now, let's plus one the green. Get rid of that. Now, orange I'm not doing very well in, obviously. And I could plus one something else. I can plus one the yellow and cross off that other six up here. I could plus one I can plus one the blue die, the blue five or the white one, and cross off the blue six because five plus one is six. I could cross that off. And then all I need is a two or a seven, and I can cross off a free green or yellow respectively. Decisions, decisions. Let's do the let's do this. Alright, and then next. This is the passive part now. Um, oh, there's the 7. We could do... I could cross off the 7 here. Or, oh, oh, or, let's do this. If I take the blue die... No, no, take the green die. Take the green die. The bonus space is cross off a blue one. Cross off the 7, right? That means cross off a, a yellow. And then, okay, let's do that. So I'm going to take the green one, put it here. I get a free blue cross off. I'm going to choose this one, the seven. I mean, in theory, the 12 might be better because it's harder to roll. If I cross off the nine, I get a free reroll. But I think the seven, let's go with the seven. No, now I'm rethinking this. <laughs> I'm rethinking this. Again, sevens are the easiest to roll, so maybe I don't want to cross that off. Oh, gosh. All right, let's do the seven. And now I get a free X on the yellow. So let's cross off the three. Or, yeah, let's cross off the three. That gives me one fox for the end of the game, for the score multiplier part. And now next. All right, so we're halfway through the game. I get a free X or a six, one of the two. I choose it. Um, I could put a six in the orange, finally. Uh, but because the foxes give you double of your weakest color, I've got nothing in orange. So I got to get orange up there if I want to have any hope. All right, let's put a six here. Okay, so we've got a green two. We can put that there and get another fox. I think we're going to do that. We've got two foxes. Orange three. Yellow three. White three. White three combines with the blue six, and that makes a nine. I could get a free reroll if I put one there. Or I can just start filling in orange. I, I need to, I need to work on purple and orange, at this point, in order to get better scores for that. And right now, yellow has no score because I didn't really fill in a, an entire column yet. The only thing I have scores under is blue and green. Okay. Let's put an orange three in here. Advance that track. Four, five... Okay, so this six. Uh, obviously, I want to place the six. I'm thinking... Keep adding to this here. Or I can reset purple. Let's reset purple. There we go. And... Passive pick? I can... Use the blue one and make a three out of it. I could put an orange three in. Hmm. I kind of like. I kind of like the idea of advancing. All right, let's advance purple again with this two. 
Got a free reroll out of that. Okay. Round five. Uh, if I mark off purple, which I can't because... Oh, I could with the white six, but I don't want to do that. Um, I need a, a purple. It's three, four, five, or six. I get a free mark off on blue. All right. If I were to mark something off, what would it be? Would it be the purple or the yellow? Can't do the purple. So it has to be the yellow. Unless I use a reroll. I might use a reroll. Let's, let's do that. Those dice stunk. All right. Blue... T okay, so that's a... S ugh. Again, pretty crappy. Purple die is now five. I could use the four and get rid of these other two dice. If I were to use the four, I could use it as the yellow four and work on that one column. Like, in the beginning of the game, it's fairly easy to start placing dice, but toward the end, you have, your options are a bit more limited. Again, like Yahtzee, you know. Um, I'm going to put the four here. I think, yes, do that. Those two go away. Two, three, four. Let's put the purple one here. And that gives me that. And I can mark off a blue. I could mark off this one and get a free green. So I think we'll do that. And a yellow six. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to put the yellow six there. I took a chance there because we marked off all the fours. So there was a chance I wouldn't be able to mark off anything. All right, so now we play as the passive player. I can choose between a two, three, or four. I can get a plus one. If I take another purple, I need to start adding to orange. I could put a white four here. Let's do... I can also put... A, if I put a green one here, I get a free purple six. And then, by extension, a plus one. But I... That's actually tempting. But with my foxes being... There's two foxes, so I would take my lowest scoring thing. I've only... My lowest scoring area is nine. Well, actually, no. It's actually yellow is zero. So I need I need to get a column on, on yellow here at some point. All right. Let's actually... Let's go for the chain. Let's go with the purple. Or let's go with the green one. Get the purple six plus one. Do I want to plus one any of these dice? And it can be any 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 of them. I could plus one the green, yellow, and the purple five as well. The yellow six I can't because there's no six. The green six I could. The purple I yeah, that resets. I would get a free yellow one if I took that, but then I would need another six. May not be the right move there. I'd want to start low with purple again. I I don't think I don't think we're gonna do anything okay we'll wait last round two re-rolls and a one plus one okay so with the one I think I'm going to cross off this for 14 points so I can get some 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 points out of yellow four four okay that's not too bad I can put a purple four down here and get a free X on yellow. And I'm going to cross this one off for 20 points. Going down. All right. Uh, I could do the three under blue, which not going to give me anything extra really, except for the extra box. Um, yellow... Going across would give me an orange four, which gives me a free re But at this point, I don't need any free rerolls. Um, green. What I need is a higher number. Uh, let's try rerolling. 
I need I I need I need high numbers is what I need. All right. Five. Well, there I could mark off the five on yellow, and get sixteen more points. That may have to be that. Yeah. All right. So now I can plus one something. Do I want to plus one something? I could plus one the green and get another 10 points out of it. I could plus one the... I could plus one the white one, use it as a yellow one, and then get a free cross off on green. Uh. <laughs> wow. Wow. I was one away. There's no way for me to get another purple fox, unfortunately. Not that I can see. I need to get a five or six white, and I, I don't have it, or purple. Not that it's going to matter much anyway, because I had uh, nine points in orange, and that was pretty crappy. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do. Plus one, the white die. Bring it over here. I get a free green X. That crosses off. And now I get my last passive play. 2-2-3. Two, two, Not a whole lot. Um, I guess I'll use the blue, the orange too. I mean, it's all I can really do. You'll always be able to play an orange die. Wow, I did worse that game. I My last game, I scored a 215 or something like that. Like, I did really well with yellow, but everything else just kind of stunk. Orange. It, I, think it, I think it was the foxes. I think had I, had I gotten orange up more, I think the foxes would have helped me out a bit more. So anyway, that was Gan Shown Clever. Dare I say it, it's a very clever game. Highly recommend it. Again, I ordered the box version. And it's coming next week, so uh, as of the date of this recording. So be on the lookout for an actual boxed version video of that. Idly and I will probably play it. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.